All right, everybody, my young engineers, we are going to make technical drawings today. So before we get started, let's set up our EBK. So I want you to go to your table of content, write down the entry number, and I need you to title it technical drawing practice. Technical drawing practice. So put that down in your table of content. Go ahead and pause the video. Once you come back from taking care of your table of content, I need you to go to your first available page up at the tippy top. I need you to write down the entry number and write technical drawings up at the top. All right, you're going to do this for three pages. Three pages of putting the entry number and technical drawings up at the top. All right, so go take care of that, pausing the video. All right, welcome back. So now we're gonna make our lines. So if you look at the paper that I have here, I created quadrants. There's four different sections. So I need you to create those four different sections right now. So where do you draw the lines? Well, let's start at the bottom. Do you see where it says date and team member? And there's a line that separates those two. We're gonna use that as our guide. So you're gonna take your ruler, you're gonna line it up with that line and you're gonna draw it straight up, just like I did right there. Awesome. And then to do the line that goes across, you're gonna look for the three hole punches, boom, 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 and you're gonna find the one in the middle, and then just slightly above that, find one of the lines from the squares, and you're gonna run that straight across. So you created your four different quadrants. I need you to do that three times. So do it on one page, Turn the page over, do this a second time, and then do it a third time. So pause this video and take care of that. All right, welcome back. Our next step is to do the labeling. So before we get into the labeling, I want you to make a decision how you want to do the orientation of your paper. So in the view that I have posted right here, the orientation is letter. So this is letter orientation. Um, the image that I have off to the side right here, let me make that bigger, da, 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 da. that orientation is landscape. So you decide how you want to turn, um, do your drawings. You want to turn your book and put it on its side like I have here for landscape, or do you want to just do what I have right here, which is called letter. Either way, um, so change the orient, um, twist your book the way you want it to be. And so on your right hand side, on the right hand side, in that quadrant right over there, I need you to write right side. And then right across from it, on the left side, bottom quadrant, I want you to write front view. Then above the front view is the top view, so that's on the left top. And on the right top is isometric. I need you to do this on all three pages. All right, now if you did it on landscape view, let me take this landscape and I'm gonna make this larger. You can do the same thing, but we're gonna have the front view. And again, it's still going to be on the right hand side. The right side is still on the right side. Isometric is still right above that and then the top view. So go ahead and pause this video and take care of that. So let me just show you a quick overview of what we're gonna be doing. We are going to be making technical drawings that look something like this. They're really pretty simple. They're a lot easier than isometric drawings. So what we're gonna do um, in one square, do uh, draw how it looks at the front, how it looks at the top, and how that image looks at the side. And then we're gonna put in some measurements, okay? Um, before we get started, I want to cover about what those measurements might be. Everything we're going to, we do is going to be made out of cubes. So we already talked about how one cube is 0.75. So what if you have two cubes? So two cubes would be 0.75 plus 0.75, and that equals 1.50. So write that down somewhere for yourself so you don't have to do the math every time. You can just like, oh, two cubes, 1.5. What if I have three cubes? So do that math, 0.75 plus 0.75 plus 0.75, and that is going to end up being 2.25. And that's inches, and that's inches, okay? 
So 3 cubes is 2.25, and I'm sorry, 3 cubes is 2.25, 1 cube is 0.75, and 2 cubes is 1.5. All right. Um, the lines we are going to make today, um, let's talk about that. We're going to do something called miter lines, and miter lines are all done in yellow. So you're going to need to grab a yellow color pencil for me. Change in depth lines are all going to be done in pencil, and they're going to be nice and dark. They're going to look like that. Object lines are, again, done in pencil, and they're going to look like that. And then we might do some hidden lines, and those have dashed lines that look like that. All right? So I am going to stop this video, and I need you to upload. I'm sorry. I need you to move on to practice number one. All right, change in plan. We're going to have to do one huge video. Sorry about this. It's going to take you a couple days. We'll just pause in between. So, all right. Our first object that we are going to do a technical drawing of is this guy right over here. So go ahead and grab that object from the front of the room so you can have a better view of it. So we are going to do the front view, the side view, and the, and the top view of it. So running through this real quick. So here is the actual object. So the front view is going to be pretty much like this, right? And if you can, you can see that right here. This is how it looks in the front, right? And then looking at it from the top right up here and here, this is how it looks at the top. And then when we look at it from the side, which I'm sorry, you can't see, it's right here and right here and here, this is how that object looks at the side. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on this. Let me clear the ink on here. I'm gonna make these images smaller. Boom. So isometric drawing is gonna go right in here. We're gonna move that off to the side. We got our right side views going there, front view is going here, top side view is going here. All right, so to get started, um, let me make this guy just a tad bit bigger. All right, so I'm gonna start with the front view. So we are going to say that when I'm doing a cube, this cube right here, I'm gonna make it two squares long, okay? And um, so if I'm doing a cube, it's two squares this way, two squares this way, this way, and this way. All right. So I think if we just make them one little square, it's going to be way too tiny. So for this view right here, remember it's going to be two squares plus another two squares. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Starting, make my little point. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go up two. One, two, over two, over two, up two, up two, over two, over two, and down one, two, three, four. And I should really be using a ruler. Ooh, if you haven't done so, grab that ruler. All right, so that is how that shape looks. So let's talk about this. Um, these two blocks are flat right next to each other. They're flat, they're flush. So there's no line there, but this one jumps out, right? It protrudes out. There's a change in height and because there's a change in height. I need to put a depth line right there. So you're going to take your ruler and make a nice dark line right there to show that there's a change in depth that this cube actually projects out. All right. Now I need you to grab your yellow color pencil. We're going to make some miter lines. So miter lines are allow us to place the top view in the section that we want. So what we're going to do is from each corner, using the yellow color pencil, you're going to drag a line all the way up using your ruler. From this corner, you're going to drag a line all the way up. Then go to this corner, you're going to drag a line all the way up. So now when I do my top view drawing, it's going to go right inside there just like that all right so now let's draw that remember um i'll start here at the top this is two squares plus another two squares that's four one two three four see how it fits right in there perfectly then i'm going to come down to so using my ruler i'm going to come down to bam then i'm going to go over to using my ruler over to down to down to over two for that 
and then I'm going to go up four. One, two, three, four. All right, sweet. So these two pieces are flat right next to each other. So I don't put a line in between, but this guy, he's higher up. He's this one right up here. So because there's a change in height, a change in depth, I have to put a line there. Bam, right there. Alrighty. So let's move this out of the way, move this out of the way, move this out of the way, and let me do some erasing. All right, pick up that yellow color pencil. And let me move that over here. All right, so for the yellow color pencil, I gotta do some more miter lines. Miter lines now for the bottom right side are a little more interesting. Go to your isometric section. And I need you to draw a diagonal line that cuts through your first whole cube. So here's my first whole cube. Well, actually, it's this one down here. So find your cube that's not been cut off. The first one, I need to put a diagonal through there. So see, I made that diagonal. Now do another diagonal and another one and another one, 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 all the way up, just like that, okay? That diagonal line cutting through that cube all right now i'm going to make miter lines one two three one for each of these edges one for this one and then that one all right so grabbing my ruler here's how it works you are going to drag this over here as soon as you hit that diagonal you turn the corner and come straight down diagonal going all the way across as soon as you hit it Bam, straight down. Next one, going all the way across. As soon as you hit that diagonal, bam, straight down. And now I have to do the miter lines from here, the front view across, going there. Then I gotta do the next one, right there and there. Three miter lines, just like that. So what's totally cool about that, now I just, kind of projected where this should go. It should fit perfectly right inside there, just like that. So now I know exactly where to draw the right side view. So for the right side view, I'm gonna do it in green. Nah, I'll do it in red. Nah, I'll do it in blue. All right, so I'm gonna draw this line right here. So that's one, two, three, four squares. Bam, 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 bam. I'm gonna go up two plus another two. That's four, one, two, three, four. Going over two, over two, down two, down two, over two, over two, down two, down two. And I really should have done that with a ruler. All right, this right here is flat and flush, so I don't put a line there. But there's a drop in height right here, so that's why I draw a line. Almost done. Now I just need some measurements. So I need to tell whoever's going to make these puzzle cubes how big they are. So I'm going to do dimension lines. So I'm letting them know the distance from um, here to here, because it's two cubes, is 1.5. I'm do my little inch mark. And then I'm letting them know, like, I'm doing length, width, and height. So that's why I'm going to do it three times. So then this is how it is on the top. And again, it's 1.5 right there, inches. And then now I have to do the dimensions here. We're doing three of them because remember we have length, width, and height. So two cubes is 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Sweet. All right, you did your first technical drawing. Congratulations, pat yourself on the back. Practice number two. All right, so if you need to, go grab this shape from the front of the room, and I need you to put that in front of you, and it might help you with that. So isometric drawing would go right here. We are going to just kind of make that smaller, move it away. So this is how that shape looks at the front. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be bam, 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 bam. That's how it looks at the front. Um, there's a piece sticking out, so that's why I'm going to end up drawing dimension um, depth lines right there. At the top, it goes like this, right? And there's a change in height here and here, so I'm going to draw solid lines there. And this is how it looks on the side, the right side. And again, there's a change in depth right there. So I'm going to clear this ink, 
and let's get started. I'm going to make the smaller bam over there. Bam, come on, move smaller, and this guy moving smaller. All right, so let me just move these over here now. Um, all right, I'm going to start at the front. So I'm going to go three cubes across, so that's going to be six. Well, it'll be dot. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to go up four. I should do my ruler. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to go over two. One, two. And then I'm going to go down two. Down two. And then I'm going to go over two. Over two. And then I'm going to go up two. Up two. And then over two, over two, and then I'm going to go down four, down four. Okay. And remember there's a change in depth right there because that little piece is sticking out. That's this piece right over here. So do a change in depth, change in depth. All right. So that's how the front view looks. Grab that yellow color pencil and let's make some miter lines. So from here to here, from this corner up, and now I'm going to do this corner up, and then I'm going to do this corner up, and this corner up. Awesome. All right, so now it's time to draw the top right in between those miter lines. So and again, um, I'm going to start at the top. So that's going to be two, four, six squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six. See how it fits perfectly right inside there. And then I'm going to come down two. Do, 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 down two, time to use the ruler. I'm going to go over two, over two. I'm going to come down two, down two, over two, over two, up two. Here's that up. And then I'm going to go over two more, over two more. Oops, come on. And then I'm going to go finish that shape up by going up two. All right, sweet. That's how it looks at the top, but there's a change in depth right here. It drops down and it drops down there. So I have to draw depth lines there and there. Sweet. That's how it looks at the top. Now I got to do the right side, but before I do that, I got to do my miter line. So grab that yellow color pencil. Next up, find your first whole square. So this is one whole square. It hasn't been cut off, so I'm going to start there. I'm going to do a diagonal, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, all the way up. Awesome. And then I'm going to grab my ruler, and then from each of these edges, I'm going to draw a minor line. As soon as I hit that diagonal, I have to turn the corner, come straight down. Hit this diagonal, let's see, as soon as I hit it, I'm going to come straight down. Last one, going all the way across. As soon as I hit that diagonal, bam, all the way down. Okay. And then I got to do it from the front view right there. Yep. And this part right here because of this line right here, all the way across. And then this one right here, there. And then voila. This guy would fit right inside there just like that. So let's go ahead and draw him. I will do that in red. So two blocks, I mean two, yeah, two blocks across. So that's going to be four squares. One, two, three, four. Two blocks tall. So that's going to be four squares. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, two. Come down two. Come and down two. Over two and down over two and down. All right. Um, no change in depth right here. This is flat and flush, so no line, but this one, there's a drop, drop right there. So that's this part right here. There's a drop. So I have to draw a depth line right there. All right. Measurements. So here we go. Ooh, three blocks. So from here to here, it's 2.25 inches, right? And now for this, it's only two blocks tall. So that means that's 1.5 inches. 
and the measurement from here it's only two blocks tall so that's going to be 1.5 inches voila cool practice two done bam now it's the last practice practice number three the one that looks like steps all right so let's talk about that let's go real quick all right so front view is going to be just like this top view is going to end up looking like this with a depth line because it drops down for the step another depth line because it drops down for the step um the side view is actually three blocks tall right but these two are flat so I'm not going to put a depth line but this one there's a drop in height right there so I have to draw a depth line right there okie doke all right so clearing the ink moving these pictures out of the way and I am going to draw these all right Let's grab your pencil all right so down at the bottom this is two blocks at the bottom so that's gonna be four squares one two three four and then I think I'm gonna go up this way so I'm gonna go up two, one two over two over two up two up over two dang I should be using a ruler grr and then I'm gonna go up two up two and then I'm gonna go over two over two down two oh down four down four one two three four and they go over two over two and then down two wow what a difference a ruler makes okay so it's my front view next you know what to do i'm hoping you're grabbing your yellow color pencil for the miter lines so from this edge up from this edge up this edge up and that edge up all right so this guy should fit right inside there voila sweet good so now this guy is going to go right inside here just like that all right so do this one in red so one two three blocks so one two three four five six because there's three blocks I'm gonna go down two and then I'm gonna go over six because there's three blocks and then I'm gonna come up two. Oh, that's so bad without a ruler um, and there's a change in depth here and a change in depth there so and draw a line there and draw a line there all right miter line time so grab that yellow color pencil do the diagonal one two three four four five six there we go diagonal 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 sweet have that done now going across as soon as I hit that diagonal line I'm gonna come straight down BAM diagonal line as soon as I hit it BAM come straight down all right now I gotta match that up with the front view front view one there another one there another one here and then my top one right there so voila this guy let me bring that over here is going to fit right inside there okay moving him to the side so I'm gonna do that in green all right so I'm gonna do the height it's three blocks tall one two three so that's two four six squares um it's over two so i'm going to come over two one two then i'm going to come up six up six and then over two and over two so now the lines there's definitely a change in depth right there so i'm going to draw that change in depth now right here these are flat but behind it on the other side there is a drop that we don't see so that's where that hidden line comes in so I need you to do a dashed line right there because behind this line behind there there's a drop 
in the stairs. We just don't see it when we look at it from this view. All right. So voila, we are done. You have done three practices. How exciting. Um, if you have any questions, I will be floating around here to help you out. Oh, yeah, yo, I forgot measurements. Oh, yeah. Got to put that in. So from there to there, we are not done. We have to do the measurements. That's three blocks, 2.25 inches, right? Mm, this one. So there's only one block, so it's going to be 0.75 inches. And then here to here, remember that's three blocks. So that is 2.25 inches. Now, seriously, we're done now. I promise. <laughs>